Here's some more jewels that Trump uh, dropped, and I'm still using this under fair use. He uses the N-word, the nuclear word, all the time. He uses the N-word, the nuclear word, all the time. That's a no-no. You're not supposed to do that. He uses it on a daily basis. And everybody's so afraid, so afraid, so afraid. And as they're afraid, he uses it more and more. That's why he's doing the kind of things he's, he's doing. He's the doing them because he thinks nobody's going to ever attack us mm. because they're all stupid and they're afraid to talk I about totally it. I totally agree with you. Okay? So what do you and do And instead about? of, excuse me, it's yeah, a little complicated. Oh, sorry. Instead of, you know, kowtowing, instead of Biden saying, oh, he's got nuclear weapons. You keep saying he's got nuclear We have better weapons and we have the greatest submarine power mm. In history, so what would you say and do? I would say we have far more than you do, far, far more powerful than you, and you can't use that word ever again. You cannot use the nuclear word mm -hmm. ever again. And if you do, we're going to have problems. My reading of what you've been saying is that when you were talking to Putin, when you were president, and he was talking about potentially invading Ukraine that you threatened him with your nuclear capability? I threatened him like he has never been threatened before. Did you threaten to use nuclear weapons? I don't want to say that. I threatened him like he has never been threatened before. What's your message for Putin now, right now? If you, if you could talk to him, what would you say to him? I, I, I would say it's a shame what you've done. You're killing, I think potentially, look, you know, if, if these people aren't smart, mm. and they're not, mm. our leaders are not smart. If they're not smart, you're going to end up in a nuclear war. This is just the beginning. This is the beginning. And I've been the best predictor of things ever. Now, it doesn't have to happen. It shouldn't happen. But if our people aren't smart, you can end up in a nuclear war. So what's I think, your message to I think they're dealing with... If he's with, watching this interview, and he will be, look, what would you say to him? I think they're dealing with him incorrectly. I think what they're saying, it, it's almost like they're speaking with fear. Mm. And they don't understand. We have... One weapon alone that would destroy everything. Should Putin get out of Ukraine right now? Uh, they should make a deal and they can make a deal and they should do it fast. When people look back on this period of time, we're going to be ashamed at what we've done or what we haven't done to stop this catastrophe. This is a catastrophe. This is, in a way, already a world war. Has Russia made itself with this invasion? Has it made itself an enemy of the United States? Well, I think two things have happened. Number one, they've proven to be less powerful than we thought. That's a good thing from our standpoint. But at the same time, they have a second degree of weapon uh, that is very powerful. And nobody can be allowed to use it, talk about it, threaten with it. Uh, we have more powerful than them. And there would be no Russia. There would be no Russia. But we don't want to talk about that. But when I watch Biden say, oh, he's got nuclear weapons, we can't do this. You can't do that. You know, I confronted Kim Jong-un. And all of a sudden, I got a call they'd like to meet. It was like, and we when met. When you say confronted him? And we met in what did you say to him? Well, verbally, I confronted him. You know that. He said, I have a red button on my desk, meaning a nuclear button. I said, I have a red button on my desk, too. But it's bigger and stronger than yours, and mine works. And they said, whoa, nobody's ever talked to us that way. I took a lot, of, a lot of heat when I said that. If you're trying to lose belly fat, stop doing cardio. Now. Hold on, Melanie. Let me answer your question here. Joe, do you think Caitlyn Jenner going to get pushed off her throne by the trans community for speaking the truth and anything. No, because I'm sure that a lot of people in the trans community agree with that. You got to remember, some of these people, these trans people may not have been trans, like uh, Bruce Jenner turning into Kayla Jenner. He might, he wasn't Kayla in his whole life. So he's thinking, I got daughters out there. I don't want to see nobody playing against my daughters because that's the, 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 the man, the man in him still, you know, even if it, it's just he feeling motherly, he knows that as an athlete and all the, the competing he did over the years, 
that it ain't fair. You know what I'm saying? So especially, you know, some of them be juicing up. So I'm sure there's a lot of people in the trans community that don't approve of that. Trump definitely want to go off. Yeah, he was trying to bait uh, Trump to, so he could get some clicks. I don't know where you're blunt at. If you stop smoking, you 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 have a better memory. <laughs> yeah, do smoking. You know, we make you forget. You talking about this M die right now. This is the blunt right here in this ear. He done rolled it. Like, yo, I'm going to roll this up soon as choke. Come on. Yo, I'm sparking this. Now he in the house like this. Yo, where that blunt at? Damn, man, I rolled that blunt, man, for choke. The joint sitting right here. The blunt right here. Yo, where that blunt at, man? Damn, man, I know I rolled it, man. Oh, man, that was my last blunt, man. Damn, man. Oh, man, damn it. It fall on the couch like we're the blunt. At. <laughs> he, go to, he go to the bathroom, use the bathroom, go to wash his ass. Look up in the mirror and the blunt sitting right there in his goddamn head. Yeah, we know him, Doc. Stop smoking that stuff, man. If your eyes ain't red, it's all in your head. Once said by a PhD man. Putin is not no joke, and the Biden administration isn't taking him seriously. Uh, yeah. Taiwan invasion next. Talk that talk, Trump. Cancel Caitlin. <laughs> it's coming. They're not going to cancel Caitlin. Putin doesn't want those type of problems with the U.S. His, his army is barely winning the war with Ukraine. And their armed forces are weak as as F. You got guns, I got guns too. <laughs> My red biggity works, yours don't. Wait to Trump if uh, elected, allow cops to have open season on minorities. Then we'll see what you Trump lovers say. Ah, uh, be there, whatever, Biden lover. You just want your your uh, the trans kids, your trans kids to play with the uh with the little girls. That's what you want. President Trump dropped a nugget right there saying. We have one bomb that can destroy everything. Bam. Yeah, that's very scary because I, I don't want it to get to this that point. Trump let the other countries know he's not playing. Mess with the United States if you want to. All right, I got uh one more jewel from Trump. Are you glad that the vaccine program worked? I, I know that you, I was surprised. I'll be on the program worked. I, I know that you, I was surprised. Well, bracelets, thank God. Are you Great glad job. that the vaccine program worked? I, I know that you, I was surprised, I'll be honest, but I was pleasantly surprised that you came out and said that you'd not only been fully vaccinated, but you thought other people should. Yeah, well, we saved tens of millions of lives. Maybe this would have been the Spanish flu of 1917 had we not come up. And I got it done in nine months as opposed to they were projecting from five to 12 years. I got it done in nine months. So I'm very proud of it. You were great I'm against vaccine. mandates, right. strongly against mandates, but I'm very proud of what we did. I say. Y'all heard that? Y'all heard that? He's strongly against mandates. So he wouldn't have mandated people to get it if he was the president. This dude made people quit jobs because they didn't want to get it. They people got it and, and allegedly had complications and passed because they was mandated. Like 
Trump was not mandating us what to get. Remember when we came into this before 2020, he before he walked out the office, they did their little COVID stuff. And even at that point, he wasn't even vaccinated back then. You know what I'm saying? But he probably did later or whatever. But the point is, he was not forcing us to get it. New York got these cars. You can't even go in the restaurant unless you vaccinated. It's man, man, these people mess things up. But here we go. They were, they were projecting, projecting from, from five, five to 12, to 12 years. years. I got it done in nine, nine months. I'm very proud of it. Strongly against mandates, but I'm very proud of what we did. I saved worldwide tens of millions of lives. One last question. Do you accept that early on in the pandemic that you didn't take it seriously enough or no. you were being told how serious it was? No, when I you were sharing that with the American people. people. I'm a cheerleader for this country. I, I want, want to be positive, positive for this country. country. I, I take, take everything seriously, and I took that very seriously. But I'm a cheerleader for the country, and our country came out of it better than anybody else. We've done a great job. A final question, President Trump. It's been good to catch up with you after this uh, lengthy time. I haven't uh, mentioned that's that. it. No, yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I realize that. I'm, I'm, I'm not like very I just haven't asked you You're about a very dissent. This, no, no. this was a 20 minute interview. No, no. Listen, this was a 20 minute interview. interview. Okay. Uh, I think it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's, I haven't asked it's about fantastic that. in your opinion. I wanted to end with the hole in one. I just haven't asked about the hole in one. Do you want to? Go ahead. Go ahead. You recently got a hole in one playing golf with Ernie Els, one of the great right. golfers of the world. What he was is. that like for you? Well, it was great. He's a great guy, great player, one of the most beautiful swings, they say, in the history of golf, and they're very powerful. And I made it with him and actually uh, three other tour pros. And it was quite a thrill. Talk me through the, the shot. Well, I hit the ball. It was hit well. It felt good. The wind was blowing hard into my face. It was a five iron that went 181 yards and it went plank right into the hole. It landed on the green in one bounce and it went plank. And Ernie, who's a low key guy, one of the reasons he's acceptable, the big easy, right? But Ernie and the other pros started jumping up and down in the air. And I said, why are you guys so excited? He says, because we don't see hollow ones. They make, I guess, one every three tournaments, and then you have to be in the group. So it's have rare. Have you had one before? I've had seven. This was a seven. Seven hole in yeah, one? Seven. This was my seven, which isn't that high a number, believe it or not. If somebody plays golf, I hear the record is 49. Okay, people Did you have, buy a round of drinks in the bar afterwards? I don't know, but I would certainly have been happy to. But you don't drink? I don't drink, no. It is traditional. You buy around. Everyone that is true. Pass. That is true. Did you do that? Probably happened. I didn't check, <laughs> but probably happened because I own the club. I'm sure it happened. Congratulations to Holly Mark. All right. Thank you very much. And thank you thank for you. great interview. Thank you very much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. That was a great interview. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Turn the camera off. So there you have it. Trump got a hole in one, but Trump, you don't act like you, you know, some novice. You've been golfing for a long time. You've got several golf course. You should be able to get a hole in one at least a few times in your life. Now I'm just starting. It'll probably be a long time before I get a hole in one, but I'm I bet. That's my goal. Salute to 45. That's why I didn't vote for Joe Biden. He would mandate during his his presidential campaign. We must listen close before we vote. I agree. He said they need to leave our children alone. Their immune system is strong as hell. That's right. He did say that. They wasn't trying to hear us during the election, no joke. You know how this goes. Because they, they used Kamala Harris in the black card. They told my old oh, crime bill. That was years ago. And Kamala Harris, she was a senator years ago. They All the people they locked up, that was years ago. We forgive them. We don't like Trump. He's a racist. Yeah, okay. He didn't want people to panic. Well, he, he handled it. Better than what Biden and them did, I believe. He didn't make us go and get it. They did. And then they made kids get it and all kind of stuff. 
So I wouldn't have no kids getting no damn vaccine. Joe Biden said he would mandate during his presidential campaign. And they still voted for him. Trump had to come up with a vaccine before he left. And if he didn't, he would have been there to talk trash about him. Him died still over here with the jokes. I feel like they dumped Trump vaccine and replaced them with the death shot, possibly. The Trump administration uh, developed the vaccine and saved millions of lives. As a politician, you can drink. I'm sure many of them drink. Hydroxy was good, but the Democrats ran a hit piece on it saying it was unsafe. Imagine the truth you spill while being drunk <laughs> in a politician world, right? Oh, God. But but Trump was mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> Joe was pissed. Yeah, because uh, Pierce was uh, keep asking more questions. Trump wanted to close the border before they took over the U.S. Nancy, and I said no. And remember, you tried to build the wall. They didn't. Did, Biden came and just knocked the whole wall out, flood our country with a whole bunch of immigrants, and gave them money and didn't give us nothing. At least uh, Trump was uh, even thinking about the uh, the Black Contract of America. Met with Ice Cube. Met with Lil Wayne, met with like, come on, man. Joe Biden see now as hell <laughs> shaking his hands with the air. I seen that. He turned around like, hey, buddy. He already dead talking to the ghost. Hey, man, I, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> I'm joking. Go off a bit. That was a bad joke. We got 10 more years to get it together to my people in the U.S. I don't know. Golf is not an easy sport. And I've been playing for a couple of years now. I still don't understand how America go from this, that clumsy-ass Joe shaking my head. <laughs> Imagine refusing $50 billion platinum plan for free crack pipes. $50, million, $50 billion platinum plan, what he had for us, and we got free crack pipes. Thank you, Biden uh, voters or Kamala voters. The median wealth each household for African Americans projected to be zero. What? By 2050, we still got time to put that work in. Please don't scare me like that. 